<laughs> see, that's why I'm gonna show the world how you be I doing. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. See what? See, look at you. Take, try to take my tea. I'm gonna show everybody how you spend my birthday with another dude. Nigga, you was busy. Exactly. exactly. Tell the world this. She's a gold digger. Nigga, you trifling anyway. And what you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go right down there and I'm gonna go pick the TV up the same way. No, it don't even not. matter. No, you're not. You ain't getting this TV back. Buy your own TV. Tell your other dude to buy your TV. I'm not. I'm not dealing with you. Ain't you stop following me? I just want to follow you anyway. No, stop following the me. same way I pulled up on you at that crib too. I pull up on you there. I don't care. Like I Nigga. said, she's a gold digger, bro. Don't I'm a gold you. digger, don't but you. I'm a gold digger. Face. I'm a gold digger, but you had, but you had some, had some jugs in your face at the strip club. Nah, bro. That man, come on, man. Jugs in your face at the strip club. Man, yeah, I nah, to nah. Do that. That, anyways, it doesn't matter. It don't even matter. You're not getting this TV back. Stop following me. Yeah. Stop following. Tell the me. world how you got poked in the eye too by that nipple. So you look at you. Look at you. Yeah, you lame. You lame. Like, that's why I don't want to be with you. And now. that's you why I'm telling you, you right now. Stupid stuff. Yeah, I'm saying stupid always, stuff, but you left that out your conversation. You left that out your conversation. You're not getting, you you're not getting it. You're not getting it. All right. Not you can't even get you can't even fit it in the trash. You're not getting it. You're not getting it back. You might as well wrap it up. You're not getting it back. It's done for. You can have a cord. You can plug it in. You try to clean. You know that, right? You're not getting this back. You, you see everybody? Clean. When you act like she do, this what happen. I don't care. Call me lame. Post a video. I don't care. I don't care. How do you feel about women when they say they have like a height requirement for a man that they're dating? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say this is the same thing, but let's say a man says they want someone who's a certain weight. That's not really appropriate or fair to somebody. To say the same thing too, I'm sure men are insecure about their height when they're short. Like it's different when you're a girl, people don't seem to care, but like I can sympathize with a guy who's insecure about that and girls can sometimes be unfair about that, I, yeah. I feel. But then would you say it's kind of like a little bit different because height is something you cannot change like you can't change your height but weight then anyone very, can change their weight weight's genetic a lot of it so i'd say no because i think a lot of people can't control their weight or like yeah you can exercise and you could diet but i do think you know like it's just unfair to judge people just on their appearance of course everybody has a type but like to say those things to people like people are insecure about that stuff i just don't think it's nice it's just not nice I can appreciate the attempt to try and sympathize with men, but no. Height and weight are not similar. No way, shape, or form are they similar. One you can control your weight, one you can't. And can we please stop with this whole weight is mostly based on genetics? No, it's not. While genetics play a role, it's not the main thing. It's simply a role. And there's always going to be anomalies. There's always going to be people on one end who can eat whatever they want and won't put on a pound, and people who hardly eat but seem to have a hard time getting the weight off. But where a vast majority of people are at are in the middle. What lies in the middle are people who simply are lazy, don't want to be disciplined, and want to eat what they want, and don't want to exercise consistently in order to get that weight off. And what turns out to be poor eating habits, they call genetics. Where genetics come into play is finding out what works best for your body. Something works for everybody's body. The goal is finding out what works best for you. And that can be more challenging for some versus others. So what did... Hey, excuse me, ma'am. When did Jesus? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you look at me? No, ma'am. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> First, first of all, Paul. Yo, that's that pass. That's pass crazy. course, man. I, that was a two-game suspension, doc of pay. Uh, I don't want to get married, so I don't know. Why you don't want to get married? Because I don't. I don't want to commit to no one. You just don't want to commit? Yeah. I wanna but do, do you want to? Do you want a man though? No. How about you? No. So what's your type? A sneaky link. Huh? A sneaky link. Somebody I could just call. Oh, so you just want, how many you want? Like, just one? One, yeah, just one. How about you? Yeah, just one. What's your type? Like, if you had, like, a, a, a type for a sneaky link, what would it be? Six foot plus, yeah. Wait, say that again? Dark skin, chocolate with dreads, pretty teeth. Six foot up, you gotta be a tall Yeah, that's it. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> Now, <laughs>
this is really sad, but not for the reasons that you're probably thinking. It's not sad because she doesn't want to be a wife. Not every woman wants to get married and authentically feels that that's what they feel like they don't want. So it's not sad for that particular reason. It's sad because these two women are pretty much designating themselves to side chick status and being completely comfortable in that. You could call it what you want, sneaky link or whatever. I'm going to call a spade a spade. She pretty much comfortable being the chick he call up when things ain't going right with his main and he come through or she come through, whatever it is, they meet up, he bust her down and, and then keep it moving. And he don't even hook up with a double cheeseburger or nothing. The weather outside is humid. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She want to run the street, so let her ho, let her ho, let her ho. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cop blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her ho, let her ho, let her ho. Women can honestly do whatever they want, but thank you. L l hear me out. Okay. <laughs> thank you. There's always ramifications for your actions. It's a way to prove that women know that it looks bad when you have yeah. sex a lot of sex with partners. Because if I ask you all what's your body count, you all would be ashamed to tell the truth. Not nah, what it. No, so go ahead. I'm not saying how much. It, but then, how much? Then, then you. It's under nah. five. How much? A lot of women can't say it's under five, and you might be lying because you know you got to multiply that. Multiply that. Multiply that. But, 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 but and you, and you, and you, and you gotta, like, gotta got to add the remainders because oh, you know you got the remainder four. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? I'm not about letting a guy follow girls on Instagram. I say I don't have boyfriends who follow a bunch of people on the internet who are like not their girlfriends or not their their boys girlfriends right, wives right. you know whatever and yeah. it's a non-negotiable and we don't have to agree that's my boundary i'm not arguing with you right this isn't an argument but the second you say something like that men will be like well i think and i'm like totally Goodness. cool think <laughs> think whatever you want yeah. my guy we're not together you can do whatever you right. want so like we'll right. never even be at that point because you're not going to do that so you'll never be my boyfriend and again that's fine because if you think that that's insane that I'm call me insane. Yeah. I don't care. This is why I tell men, have your own set of standards. Set some boundaries and things that you want and communicate those things. Just don't go for what a woman offers you because it's what she's offering you and because you find her attractive and you're afraid to lose out on that opportunity. That happens too often with men who don't have the confidence to be able to say what they really feel and say what they really want. You can't even be mad at what she's saying because all she's expressing is what she's willing to accept and what she's willing not to accept. And men should be doing that very thing also. I mean, look how simple women keep it. If he's not offering or he's not willing to do this, then I'm just not gonna give him the time or the energy. And it is what it is. The back and forth is not even necessary. And the reason why they had that ability to feel so comfortable and confident in rejecting men because their experiences and understanding that there's always gonna be another guy that wants to talk to them it's always going to be another guy out there where they have an opportunity to be able to meet the man that's going to meet their criteria. Now, this can spin off into a negative and become delusional and start to have outlandish expectations. But this is the exact reason as men, you need to be setting standards and boundaries for yourself. But the only way to really do that as men is to continue working on your confidence. That way you become that more certain on what you're willing to accept. I want my husband to experience that, to experience doing nothing mm, to not worry about response yeah that's really sweet yeah like not worry about responsibilities and stress at all and then just uh like give him be able Shit, i'm on my period i'm crying now <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing that when i feel lazy and i think about that and it's like oh um he he works really hard so i can be lazy and when can I give that back to him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, laziness is, you know, genetic disease. <laughs> Here are four texts that girls send and what they actually mean. When you ask her to hang out and she says, if I'm free, sure. Just know you're the backup plan because if you weren't the backup plan, she would have been like, yeah, let's do it, I'm down. Number two is if she texts you, I'm bored. She either wants you to ask her to hang out or to like entertain her in some way. So next time she's like, I'm bored, say, let's go do something fun. She will love it. Number three, if she says, I'll let you know, but she never follows up. This means she doesn't give a fuck and she won't let you know. So if you're like, yeah, let's do something Friday. And she's like, I'll let you know. I'll check if I'm free. 
and she doesn't let you know about it or she doesn't give you like an update if she's free or not, don't text her about that plan again. Next, if she says, I'm with my friend, she's with a girl. If she says, I'm with a friend, she's with a guy. And last one is if she constantly says, oh, I'm busy, but let's do another day. If this keeps happening, then she just doesn't care to hang out with you. Anyways, let me know if these are valid and what else I should make. Listen, as people become adults, it becomes increasingly more normal, at least easier for people to be able to find a reason, excuse, whatever you want to call it, for them to allow themselves to, you know, let themselves go, put on some weight. And it can easily be pointed to the fact that they don't have time. You know, they got to take care. They got they have work. They got a family to take care of. They got kids. All the usual things people say in order to try to justify why they don't take better care of themselves. So so shout out to the father for finding a way to incorporate spending time with his son while also getting himself in better condition so that way he could be there for his son as he grows into a man. Guys, as always, questions, comments, those, and feedback, drop them down below. You know, I appreciate when you guys chime in, share your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget, you can support this channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time.